Hi, my name is Hannah Biggs and I'm an International Grand Prix dressage rider. Welcome to my home. I'm going to show you how I train and work with my horses to prepare for competition at all levels. I now want to show you how I train the walk pirouette. It's an exercise that I do a lot in training. I don't like to just ride and practice the walk pirouettes as they come in the test. I use this exercise to help improve the horse's reactions and prepare him for the test movement itself. So I start on a 10 metre circle in a collected walk and make sure that the horse is walking quite briskly on his own without me having to use too much legs. So I'd have a couple of corrective legs to make sure that he's really walking in front of me. Then I make sure he's flexed correctly to the inside and that doesn't affect the rhythm or the balance of the walk so that I can see his inside eye and nostril. Oh boy, and he's still walking in a nice, brisk, collected walk. Okay. okay, now I introduce a little bit of quarters in. So I just shift my outside hip back a little bit and I don't want to be really putting my outside leg too far back to push this bend and this positioning. I expect him to be able to keep this positioning on his own just from my inside hip being, outside hip being back a little bit. And I still want him to keep the rhythm of the walk and still keep the bend in his neck. And my biggest bugbear is seeing riders hanging out of the outside of the saddle like that to try and push the horse around. I want to feel like I've still got equal weight in both stirrups and I'm still sat on both sides of the saddle and I'm not hanging to the outside. So occasionally I might need a little bit extra outside leg. Just remind him to stay in this positioning and then I drop the leg again. Good boy. So once I can do a 10 meter circle like this, keeping the rhythm quick, good boy. The bend and the positioning with the quarters. And then I just turn from my inside shoulder a little bit to make the circle a bit smaller. But I still keep the walk quick. I still keep the bend and I still keep the positioning with my outside hip. And then I just turn from my inside shoulder into a walk pirouette. Good boy. Now I'll show you the same on the other rein. Make sure the horses work equally on both sides. Start on the 10 meter circle in a collected walk. Making sure he's nice and quick on his own. I'm not having to use too much leg to keep this walk up. Good boy, but he stays quick himself. Okay, then I go for the flexion. A little bit of inside flexion there. Good boy. And then shift my outside hip back a little bit to ask for the positioning. So that the outside, sorry, that the, his shoulders, his front legs are still walking around on that 10 meter circle and his quarters are walking in about a nine meter circle. Oh boy, I don't want him falling in or out. Oh boy. So it should feel equal in both reins. I should be sat equally on both sides of the saddle. And it should feel like he's walking out in front of me. And then I just turn a little bit with my inside shoulder. And then I might just want to turn a bit smaller for a couple of strides and then ride out so I can gain control. Boy, there he wanted to turn a little bit too much. So I just gave him a little kick with both legs to say go out. So I'm completely in control. Okay, so positioning, flexion, and then turn a little bit more from my inside shoulder for a couple of strides and then ride straight out. Good boy. And then turn again for a couple of strides and then out. Good. And turn again for a couple of strides and out. And then this just keeps the horse completely on my aids, not taking over and turning before me. Good boy. And then when I do turn completely, then he's thinking forwards a little bit more and waiting for my aids. Good boy. And out. Well done. So to sum up, Walk pirouettes can be the bane of some riders' life, but they're not that bad. Just make sure you've got the horse's position, your own position, and stay relaxed. I hope you've enjoyed this video. They've been brought to you by Jackson's Equestrian. I use and endorse Jackson products because, quite simply, they are the best and offer quality that lasts.